Bonjour and welcome to another What's in the One School blog and you are here with your host Jimmy Smith. I am the head tutor of West London Wine School and Ono. And today we have finished a Saturday introduction to wine course. Twelve wines, one champagne and then a whole plethora of all those other wines. We've tasted them with about 24 of the people here on the course um, trying the key styles of the world as an introduction. We did one which was a Chardonnay off and we compared um, the same producer, Louis Jadot, Macon Village Chardonnay, um, 2008, against a Merceau, Louis Jadot Merceau, 2007. Same great variety, same producer, same region, different styles completely. Yes, the Macon is a tenner, uh, and then the Merceau is £25 plus. But it's all to do with the winemaking processes. First of all, the Macon Village. This one um, is, it's got that lightly golden touch to it, which is quite unusual. Um, you know, that little light golden touch, but on the nose, it's light, um, delicate, crisp. Uh, you've got that lovely, slight green apple-y note there. Well, in fact, a lot of green apple coming through with that. Slightly limey, but lots of mineral as well. Do you know, it's not far off a Chablis. There's just a hint, hint of white peach in this, which just shows that it's from a slightly warmer climate than that northern Chablis region. On the palate. Mm. I mean, refreshing. The acidity's high, but... Refreshing. Appley, slightly lemony as well, um, and that slightly mineral touch comes through on the finish. There's not much else going on here. It's simple, easy drinking um, Chardonnay, which is left alone. A purer expression of Chardonnay from Burgundy, from the Macon Village. So a lighter, simple style. Decent stuff. The next one we're going on to is not such a big area as Macon Village in the southern tip of Burgundy, but a village in the Côte de Beaune, and we're looking at Merceau. Merceau has an, uh, an area around it. If the grapes come from that area, and if they follow the laws of that village, so around Merceau, if they only um, use pino, uh, sorry, Chardonnay for their white, if they have smaller, lower yields, and certain viticultural and manu, uh, maturation practices as well, then they can label their wine as Merceau. And this one has gone through that. 07, smaller yields, and the colour is a bit more deeper in the golden touch, um, but on the nose, this is where this wine really shines through. Wow, it is very good. I mean, it has opened up tremendously well in the past six months or so. It really is good. There's this very distinct mineral touch in this wine. Slightly green vegetable, but mineral comes through. And this mineral with nice sort of white peach character, melon as well as riper apple as well, is all wrapped up in this lovely, slightly butter, cream, slight toasted edge to it. It's very rich and it's that barrel fermentation and age that has given it that intensity. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very good. Um, Merceau is one of those interesting little numbers because they start off so minerally in youth, you know, and fairly light, and they just open up as they mature. And this one's starting to get into its prime even after three years. Very good. Um, yeah, riper fruits, stone fruits mixed in with a little bit of tropical, great apple tone in there as well. That lovely softness throughout the mid palate on this, that lovely cream. And then finishes on slightly yeasty um, and, and slight toast sort of finish. That's very serious, very long length. The mark of quality, the longer the length. Great stuff, and that's opening up well. I, I do suggest if you have some 07 Merceau from Jado. Seriously, look at it within the next sort of year or so because it's starting to get into its sort of heyday. It's very good stuff. 
Okay, so Macon Village, Chardonnay, Louis Jadot, and the same producer, Marceau. Different styles completely, um, but both very interesting. That's why I love Burgundy. Thank you very much. Cheers then. Bye.